Hello everyone, Jonathan with Excel Bets, and today's video is a full tutorial of the best top-down Excel-based NFL betting model you can find. I've got the model pulled up here. You can see we've got some blue highlights. This is going to be a model that takes one sharp sportsbook, devigs it, does the line shopping for you. So all you have to do is a couple copy and paste and place the bets. It'll highlight exactly what EB bets are available. You can select what sports book you want to use as your sharp book and you get up to four options to select for retail or sweet stakes or peer-to-peer -peer books. So we're going to dive in. I'm going to show you how to update it, where to go to get the data and be able to place NFL bets for week one. That's why I'm recording this video. So hopefully through this walkthrough we can identify a couple a positive EV bets that you can place if you're watching this heading into week one of the 2025 NFL season. Let's dive in. So I'm going to clear out all the data in the model. So we'll be completely starting from scratch here. So we've got a money line spread in total. This is all main market EV betting completely blank slate. So the first thing you've got to do is go over to gamedaymath.com and sign up for the free tier and it's going to allow you to have a, a bet tracker if that interests you. But what should be the most interest is a free odds line shopping interface here. So if we go over to the odds page after you sign up for the free tier, you can see we've got some grayed out areas with uh, EV betting no big line and actually a bet score so if you sign up for the sharp or plus tiers i'll have a link in the description for a promo code if you're interested in that sharp tier you'll have all that it'll highlight green and you'll know if it's an ev bet or not and it'll update dynamically as lines move that's great and i highly encourage you if you're looking to have a ev betting subscription model sign up for game day math but this video is going to walk through if you want a one-time purchase Excel base where you've got to do some manual uploading of data, um, but you don't want to have to start with a subscription model, then follow me along in this tutorial. So the first thing you want to do is go over to my account, click the Sportsbooks tab. And this is where you're going to set up the Sportsbooks. So I have Pinnacle as the first choice. This is your sharp book. So this could be Pinnacle, Circa, Bookmaker, Bet Online, whatever you want to be your, your DVIG basis your sharp book that you're going to base all your line shopping off of i've got pinnacle and make sure that's at the top of your list you can toggle how you want them to be stacked over on the left and then you'll select your source books i've got novig profit x fanduel and bet mgm if you want to change that you can go down to this drop down select whatever book you want click add and save changes you get up to four on top of the one sharp so you get five total books We'll select our sharp book pinnacle and then four of the most popular line shopping books to go against go back to our odds tab let that populate make sure we're selected nfl and we're going to start with the money line and we're going to go ahead and grab from the first date and drag down to the last available game option september 11th do a control c minimize that Go back to our Excel and then you're going to see the odds divider here. Go to money line odds and then it says drop in starting B1. Do a control B to drop that in. It'll take just a second because it will bring in all the team icons and I'll show you how we can get rid of those. Do the control and then the match destination formatting and it says paste as match destination formatting as a reminder. Got all those money line odds coming in now. Go over to the money line tab. So we select a Pinnacle, Novig, ProfitX, FanDuel, and BetMGM. If you select different books up here than what I had shown, you would update those. So instead of Pinnacle, maybe we did Circa as our sharp book. You would just update that just so the naming convention makes sense to you. And then here, if we had Bet365, we could have that pulled in there versus BetMGM. Up to you. I've got those. The blue highlight, that means it's an input cell. You can change it. Bankroll up here and Kelly adjustment factor, or you can do it based on bet percent of bankroll or your unit size. We've got a market width filter here. So if you want to look at with a little bit more certainty, NFL, I wouldn't worry about this too much. 
could set that at a default of 100 and all the market width for these markets is less than that so it's not going to red highlight anything that would be you know, a little bit more uncertainty because it has a, a larger market width college football especially college basketball that's a, a key filter to have nfl there's a lot less parity for the team so uh, a lot more parities apologize uh, so it uh, it's okay to have market width as 100 or 200 because you're essentially any given week I would say any team could beat another team. So we've got a couple of bets here. We've got Pinnacle plus 302 odds, minus 358 on Cowboys Eagles. We do big those to Pinnacle, get fair odds of plus 314, minus 314. We've got two EV bets. FanDuel is just slightly EV. Plus 315 is one cent longer than 314. Novo's got a pretty good EV there at plus 331. All we've got to do over here is select our sports book, Novig, 4% EV, $60 bet size. And if we want to change that bankroll to 5,000, you can see the bet size got cut in half. There's our first EV bet. Keep going down the list, nothing on the Chiefs Chargers. We've got Jets at plus 138. Novig's given us plus 140. 140 plus 140 is longer than plus 138. That's an EV bet. Select no big, and we're just going to go down the list here and select all the lines that are the blue highlights. So all you've got to do is go in and place these bets, and you know exactly the Kelly amount to place for each one. Almost all of them are on no big, and we just did some quick copy paste. And we just got eight money line EV bets for week one of NFL season. As simple as that. Flip over to the spread tab. We cleared that out, so let's go back to game day math. And just a highlight feature here, if we want to log one of these bets, so we want to take that Cowboys plus 333. You can type in how much risk you want to assume on it. Let's go back here and see what it came in at. $30 bet for the Cowboys. And you can do a track straight bet and that'll log it into the game day math platform. So if you want to use this as a bet tracker as well, it's got that great functionality. We're going to flip over to the spread tab, exact same mechanism, starting with the top date, highlight that, drag down, control C, flip back to our Excel model. We're going to go to the handicap odds tab, starting in B1, do a control C and a control V, paste that in, give it a second, with all those icons. We'll match the destination formatting, get rid of them. Then we'll flip over the spread. And you can see we've got quite a few EV bets here. A lot of them on Novig. We've got the Cowboys. We've got the Chiefs to cover the spread. We've got a couple. We've got Vandal, BetMGM, and Novig all coming through as EV plays. We've got the longest odds on Novix. So we want to take that. And it's Novix just owning these line shopping here. We got BetMGM or Novig plus 107 is longer than minus 102. And we'll just keep going down and selecting those. So we just brought in another eight spread bets for week one of NFL with varying amounts of EV percents. We've got 6% on the Chiefs all the way down to basically break even on the Cardinals, which is all really great to see. And if you were to select the Chargers here, it's gonna bring in a negative line. So if you start doing your line shopping and you don't see the blue and you wanna place a bet, it's gonna flag that these are negative EV plays, minus 2%, minus 12%. So I've got some foolproof built into the model so the only time you should be placing EV bets is if it's highlighted blue. Clear all those out if you want to start fresh. We've got the blue highlights to know these are the, the EV plays. And then we select them from the sportsbook drop down. So we've just got eight more bets to place for week one. Again, this is pretty, pretty simple and pretty quick to get some really solid EV plays. And then we're going to do the final main market totals. Same thing. Control C. Paste that in.
do the match destination formatting again, and then we'll flip over to the totals. Okay, so here's the first time we don't have a ton of plays. We've got nothing on Novig, but we've got a FanDuel and BetMGM both taking the under on the Texans Rams. We'll select FanDuel there. We've got a $50 bet, about a 1% EV, so that's a pretty good over-under play. And that's, that's pretty much it. So you can do this as many times as you want throughout the week. Definitely take advantage of the game day math bet tracker so you know if I've already placed a bet or not. And you, you really can't go wrong with just placing top-down <clears throat> EV bets week in and week out for NFL and any professional sport. This is how you're going to make money in the long run sports betting is using a sharp book, comparing it to some softer books. Whenever there's a mispricing, place a bet on that and do that consistently. You're going to make money in the long run. I'll have a link in the description to this model. And if you've watched this long, I want to give you at least something for your time, and that is a discount code. So let's go back to browser here, go over to excelbets.com, go and pull up the store, select football. Got a lot of different football models here, but we're looking at the NFL football, I'm calling it Pinnacle Expected Value Betting Model. Add that to our bag, check out. And then if you go here to add discount code, Excel bets sharp, all one word, apply 25% off. So Excel bets sharp, for those of you who watched to this point in the video, get $5 off, get this model for $14.99. Have a link and a discount code if you are looking for an EV subscription platform, Game Day Math, definitely check it out. It will use more than just Pinnacle for this sharp book. It'll use a blended sharp book DVIG methodology and the bet score ranking and the sharp and plus tier will be based on recent line movement. So it's going to weight more heavily the books that are moving the lines most recently. And it's the platform that I'm solely using for all of my EV bets. So follow me on Twitter and pick it as I'll be posting bets and activity throughout week one of the NFL season throughout the rest of the NFL season. Well, hopefully you check this out. Like I said, I think this is the, the best Excel-based top-down model you can get. Please consider liking and subscribing. Leave me a comment. Best of luck with your NFL betting. And God bless.